There's a new doctor roaming the halls of Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio. It's called the Chungbot, named after Major Kevin Chung, the man who brought it here. I said, well, why not try it? Uh, hadn't, hadn't been done before. Dr. Chung works in the burn unit with some of our country's most seriously injured soldiers. But when he's deployed to Iraq or even on leave, he hates to leave his patients behind. Enter the Chungbot. You can attach a thesoscope to it and you can have the bedside provider who's assisting you um, you know, help you listen to heart sounds. While deployed in Baghdad, the robot even gave Chung and his medical team the ability to check up on patients who had been transferred to the U.S. from their field hospital. Our staff would ask, oh, how's so-and-so doing? And I said to them, well, let's check, let's go see. <laughs> and so I would log in, I logged into the robot and drove it into the room as the staff were watching. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and they could see that the patient was in you know, in stable condition and doing well, and that um, really helped morale, I think. And while the robot isn't intended to perform operations, it can allow specialists like Chung to assist on procedures, even from remote locations. I could um, direct residents and other house staff, um, you know, you need to put the needle in this spot, take a picture of it, and put an X of where I want that needle to go. Staff Sergeant Juan Amaris spent weeks in a coma close to death. Chung was his lead doctor but went on leave during his recovery. Still, Dr. Chung checked in using the robot from vacation. He said, I'm over here all the way in Virginia. I just want to take a look at your wounds. And then he just, I was just staying on the bed and while he did the whole thing with the robot. Amaris's wife believes Chung and even his robot are largely responsible for her husband's recovery. He was the one who was taking care of him since he got here. So at least for me, it's like very important that when you are seeing a doctor, that's the one who sees you since the beginning, he knows what's going on, and you can keep communicating with him. Even he was out, he can come sometimes, look at him and give him or his opinion. The robot is made by a company called InTouch Health. They have about 300 in use today. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, San Antonio.